In this video, we're going to take a look at standard 7.6i. The standard says that the student is expected to determine experimental and theoretical probabilities related to simple and compound events using data and sample spaces. I'd like to take a moment and share some information that comes from TEA. It comes from the Mathematics Teak Supporting Information document for grade 7. In that document, it says that students may be expected to determine both experimental and theoretical probabilities. Data should be used for experimental probabilities. Sample spaces should be used for theoretical probabilities. Compound events include composite, independent, and dependent events. This standard has a lot of vocabulary that goes along with it. So I've highlighted here just some of the important vocabulary that I think is necessary for students to understand for this standard. I'm not gonna go through all of it, but if you would like, you can take a moment to pause the video and read through this vocabulary list and definitions on your own. So here's a sample problem for this standard. Gabriel has these cans of soup in his kitchen cabinet. Two cans of tomato soup, three cans of chicken soup, two cans of cheese soup, two cans of potato soup, one can of beef soup. Gabriel will randomly choose one can of soup. Then he will put it back and randomly choose another can of soup. What is the probability that he will choose a can of tomato soup and then a can of cheese soup? So what we're looking for is the probability that Gabriel is going to pick a can of tomato soup and then pick a can of cheese soup. But he is going to put that first can back, so this is example problem is with replacement. So let's review what probability is. Probability is the number of favorable outcomes to the total number of outcomes. So let's look at the probability of tomato soup first. So how many cans of tomato soup are there in his kitchen cabinet? Well, if we look at the provided information, we'll see that there are two cans of tomato soup in his pantry. Well, how many total cans of soup are there? Well, if we add up the total number of cans here, we will get 10. So there are a total of two out of 10 cans of soup. The probability is two out of 10, which can be simplified to one fifth. Now let's find the probability of cheese soup. So the probability of cheese soup, then the number of favorable outcomes or the total number of cans of cheese soup is two. Two cans of cheese soup out of the total number of cans. Now remember in the problem, it said that he was gonna randomly choose and then put this, that can back. So there are still a total number of 10 cans because he put the first can of soup back. Two tenths, which simplifies to one fifth. So, because we have two different events, the probability of tomato and then the probability of cheese, we can apply the fundamental counting principle. This means that we will multiply the two outcomes. So the probability of tomato and then the probability of cheese soup, we will multiply those outcomes. The probability of tomato is one fifth. The probability of cheese was also one-fifth. When we multiply those outcomes, we get a total probability of one over 25. 